So today we're going to start with uh, Cleveland Board of Education versus LeFleur. Um, this is the first of the pregnancy discrimination cases that we're going to do in this class. So this fits in a nice uh, subset of cases that we focus on one topic uh, repeatedly. Um, but understand that this case in 74 happens before uh, any sort of legislation that attempts to deal with pregnancy-based discrimination. So the facts in this case is that the city of Cleveland um, required that pregnant women quit their job without pay three months before giving birth. Um, that might sound absurd, and it is, but understand that at this time, this wasn't even the most uh, extreme of these sorts of laws. Uh, other local school boards uh, in the area required women to quit as much as five months um, before their delivery. The, the rationale behind th these laws um, and as defended by the local school boards was, was patently absurd. Um, the rationale was that school children um, would be spared from seeing pregnant women who were considered uh, unsightly. Literally unsightly is a quote from this case. So you, you, you can see sort of the environment upon which this case is taking place. Um, it, my wife's been pregnant twice and I, I don't even need to tell you that most women who are pregnant don't even show until their fifth or sixth month. And, and at no point are they unsightly. Uh, it's a process of, it's a natural process. Uh, and the requirement uh, of um, making a woman quit before they're pregnant is to a degree just, just absurd. Uh, there might be other reasons uh, why they were requiring women to quit, but they didn't state them. Um, the Supreme Court in this case um, held that this law and laws that were similar to it were absolutely unconstitutional. Uh, the Supreme Court didn't deal with the scrutiny issue um, in this case, uh, largely because if you recall, the Supreme Court had not settled on what sort of level of scrutiny uh, was was going to be used. Intermediate scrutiny wasn't developed until later. And there might be another undercurrent um, going through why uh, the Supreme Court didn't weigh in um, on the level of scrutiny. And that's because, and we'll see this sort of connected through these cases that we do today, um, while pregnancy is an exclusively female characteristic, not all women get pregnant and nor is it a condition that women have all the time. So it, it isn't clear, at least at this point in 1974, um, if pregnancy discrimination falls under gender discrimination. Certainly only women can be pregnant. However, not all women will be pregnant. So it's not, it not exactly clear at the time um, this case is taking place or, or, or even a little bit into the future of these case laws or these cases um, that if this is gender based discrimination or not, clearly it's only able uh, for one gender as opposed to the other. But it's, it's again, it's not uh, a totality um, of women uh, who who are actually in the situation by which um, they will be pregnant. There is a dissent in this case. As uh, my position on these uh, on these cases has evolved over time, I'm really not going to go into it um, because I find it highly offensive and out of step with where the case law in this area develops um, and really where we've come as a society. It, it offers next to nothing um, for this case. It isn't influence. It doesn't influence case law. Um, it is just a dissent wrapped in, in stereotypes. Um, so I'm making you aware of it, but it's not something that's important enough to focus on this case, in this case. So this law, which required women to quit, um, and laws which required women to quit their jobs X months before pregnancy without pay, uh, were, were deemed unconstitutional um, in this case and going forward. But the decision provides very little guidance 
um, up to local entities like school boards and other uh, other governmental entities that employ women um, about how the court is going to weigh in on these cases in the future. So it's a decision that's in the in what we would consider normatively uh, the correct direction, but it also doesn't give us a lot um, of, of information or guidance outside of this particular fact pattern.